and very physical. Caitlin's aware, she said my... Well, we know it is a tough task when you go against the Connecticut team. They're deep. In go. She had a season unlike anything we've ever seen. She was second in rebounding. Uh, she is just an, an incredible athlete who does so many things, affects the game in so many ways. Smith, Katie Lou Samuelson, Aaliyah Boston for the Fever, Ty Harris, Dijon A. Karras. The Sun have won at least 25 games in three. We are so excited to have you all here. NBA season is underway. But you know what? And now for real. Here we go. Clark coming back. Bounces to Boston. Boston one-on-one -on -one with Jones will flip it in. And the Fever were working on that in their shoot around, understanding that they immediately feeling that chemistry with last year's Rookie of the Year, Leah Boss. Clark into the paint, hooks it up and off. Deflected to Smith, who flips the three-point specialist. Here's Thomas dumping it down. Jones can't fit. First time the Connecticut Sun have sold out. Three of the franchise. You remember that one, don't I do. you? Thomas thanks his son, who advanced to the semifinals once again. Clark can't hit the runner. Thomas looking to push a freight train going around Clark. And, and an attack. Majority of her points are scar scored not only in the paint, but in the bin. But Alyssa Thomas last year, first player, three in rebounds, assists, and steals. Had eight. She had them last season. Bill Fire. In and out on a three, looked good, crowd was bounced to Indiana. He saw in the last corner, Boston in the offensive glass, can't flip in, and Jones the rebound. Now Thomas looking to push, a freight train going around Clark, and a whistle on Clark, who looked like was trying to, she heard Rebecca say them in the open, but Alyssa Thomas last year, first player in league history to finish as the leader in total assists and total rebounds. First player in league history to finish top three in rebounds, assists, and steals. At eight triple doubles, more than any other player in league history in their career, she had them last season. Four, three, Beaver in the early going. Clark will fire. In and out on a three, looked good. Crowd was anticipating it, and Bonner the rebound. Here's Thomas, such a locomotive in the open floor. It last hits her, good hands by Katie Lou. Bounced to Indiana. He's on the last possession, Erica Wheeler bringing the ball. This time it's Caitlin Clark, but... a oh, great look. Clark to Smith, can't finish. But when Erica Wheeler is the one initiating the offense, you saw Clark coming on screening action. She will have the ball in her hands a little bit less this season because of Wheeler's ability to handle the one, Kelsey Mitchell as well. Gives Chrissy size, head coach of the Fever some options. Thomas, shot put, won't go. Here comes Clark. Clark yet to score in this first, given some space here. Clark flings it to the corner. Boston working hard against Jones. Here's Boston. Eight to shoot. Out to Smith. Her three is good. Alyssa Smith, the number two overall pick back in 2022, and has come into this season in outstanding shape. She was terrific. Averaged her 20 points a game. The two preseason. You see Carrington picking up Clark, 94 feet there. And we'll try to force her right. Clark goes right behind the back. Boston travel. And Indiana turns it over. Sides was talking about it. It can just be a split second. And that can be the difference between an open load or not. Caitlin is seeing it. And the team still has to come along a little bit to those intricacies. Chrissy Side said, we're catching up to her. As she couldn't catch up to Harris, buries the three. Ty Harris gets the credit for, for the score, but that was Ejene Carrington's cut. Took two defenders with her, and that's why Ty Harris was open. Ty Harris looking to build a really promising 2023 season. Here's Wheeler circling, dishing, and throwing away. Carrington. Back to Bonner. Bonner sending Carrington to the...
on a Bonner. It's just so long and efficient, finishing around the rim, using the glass. She always has size in terms of height and length on her defender. Sixth on the all-time scoring list. A foul is called here against Bonner. Of a trap that big. 7-0 Connecticut run. Karen confronting Clark. Smith will fire again. That one too strong. And Bonner the weak side rebound. Christy Wallace into the game off the bench for Indiana. Harris has it popped in the air. Thomas oh, is wow. going to be fouled by Clark. Wow. Caitlin Clark has been called for a Clark, who's yet to score. 0 for 3 from the floor as one assist. Thomas flings it out. Harris a deep one. Won't go. And the box out from Boston. The rebound from Smith. Clark flings it ahead. Wallace couldn't grab it. And it's out of bounds to Connecticut. Or Pizza is at home. This is a situation Alyssa Smith this season. I know Caitlin Clark's not on the floor right now, but she is going to be a benefactor running the floor, get ahead passes. Kelsey Mitchell on the floor, great sign for Indiana. Harris drills another three. Ty Harris led the WNBA in three point field goal percentage a season ago this year, getting starters minutes. Still expected to be a force from the outside. Here's Mitchell, who was doubtful to play in this game. But participated in practice yesterday, bounced back well, and eventually two for Caitlin to work with and to get off the ball with as well. Terrific three-point shooter, great catch and shoot three-point shooter as well. Here's Mitchell. Boston. Being guarded by Nelson Adota. Boston gets inside, can't finish. Rebound knocked to the floor and grabbed by Harrington, who is tapped from behind by Melissa Smith with two fever 13 and 27 a season ago Connecticut 27 and 13 lost to the Liberty in the semifinals before Vegas top New York for its second straight championship and a whistle here before the shot it's gonna go it's a free throw different look for what Connecticut has to offer as far as their guard go this season. Yes, yeah, certainly. No, no to stay for them. Tiffany Hayes Tiffany retired, Hayes, who was yes. so good for them last season. Rebecca Allen, not a guard, was a key part of their rotation and their playoff run is out. Rachel Ruth. Bannum son, spent four years at Connecticut, then four in Minnesota, back here now with the Connecticut son. Bantam started her career in Connecticut those first four seasons. There's Carrington hits the bottom of the rim. Wallace up with it for Indiana. Grace Berger into the game off the bench as well. Along with Temi Fek Benley. Fek Benley sets the screen and it's a legal one as Indiana gives it right back. Caitlin Clark on the bench for the moment has not yet scored her debut. 0 for 3 from the floor. Picked up two fouls. Wallace left alone will fire and hit from three. Indiana doing a really nice job this season. Well, preseason, game, preseason games in here, really pushing the pace, looking to advance the basketball. They have the personnel to do that. Bannum. Swing around, here's Harris. Harris, another three is good. That's the third three of first quarter for Ty Harris. And she did not shoot the ball great in their preseason game. <laughs> Has come out here on fire here in the first quarter. Shot at 46% a season ago. Back Benley, oh, that's far too long. And Indiana turns it over for a fifth time. Game throughout the playoffs last year. Big responsibility. And one of the things that Stephanie White talked to us about well, it's also hard to be starting point guard on this particular veteran team as that three is airmailed because there is a lot of verbal instruction from an Alyssa Thomas, from a Dewana Bonner. That can be hard for a younger point guard 
to get used to and handle. Backdoor cut, Mitchell gets fouled. The delivery there from Aaliyah Boston, and Mitchell is going to shoot. Mitchell go to the line to shoot two. After the All-Star break last season, averaged nearly 20 points per game. And is seventh among all active players in career threes made. Rebecca, I know you talked about it. You just feel like Mitchell fits so nicely with Clark. And at the pieces, the young talent of this Indiana team, it's not just that they're talented, it's that they're complimentary. 100%. Aaliyah Boston pick and roll, Melissa Smith. Rim running. Kelsey Mitchell, we saw that lightning quick cut, her ability to catch and shoot, create as well. Erica Wheeler, two weeks, two weeks, weeks. okay. Yeah, 12, 12 days. days. 12 days. Less than two weeks ago. Yeah. Uh, you know, is it both of these teams are going to continue to progress. Just Connecticut's got a few more veterans in their front court to kind of lead the charge. Here's Thomas barreling in and gets fouled. Alyssa Thomas doing the two small. As she goes to the line, let's take a look at the upcoming WNBA National TV schedule Thursday on Amazon Prime. It's Caitlin Clark's home opener, Liberty at Indiana. Then Friday on Ion, we have a doubleheader, Washington and Connecticut. Minnesota hosts Seattle Aces taking on L.A. and their talented rookie class. For more on these games, please go to WNBA.com or visit the WNBA app. Well, be kind to all of you who are joining us for the first time. And Plays with two torn librums that she just had never gotten fixed because obviously her game well doesn't need them she's so good and then hasn't wanted to take the year off that it would require as Thomas comes up with a rebound fan of a d3 short long board Wallace six-point lead for Connecticut Berger the former Indiana star When do you think the last time Caitlin Clark sat this much a first quarter? Or a game ever. Yeah. Wallace gets fouled by Carrington, and Christy Wallace is going to shoot two. Tiffany Mitchell, one of the new acquisitions for Connecticut this season. Raya Jefferson, another. As Wallace misses both free throws. And here comes Thomas. The roll, rebound. Jones gets it back, can't finish it, but gets the whistle. By the way, it was number three on Fag Benley. Jones misses the first. Clark will get Wallace. Fat Benley, three. Jones misses both free throws. Fat Benley, a rebound. <laughs> and it won't get shot off.